They're about to pull off an upset, a cup shot, and uh, have the local bragging rights, unless Forrest can do something about it. Race Morgan from absolutely nothing has sent a thunderbolt on the half volley into the top corner of the Notts County net. Free kick's a long way out. Lewis McGugan's going to hit it anyway. taken by Morgan Gibbs-White towards Willie Bolly. Misses him, comes for John! Oh, who follows oh, in? Word. From about 15 yards out, low into the bottom corner, and Forrest are in front after 13 minutes. As clean a hit as you could wish to see from Brennan Johnson, who smashes it in and gets Forrest in front, wins the free kick, and as Morgan Gibbs-White delivers, it comes to the back edge of the penalty area on Brennan Johnson's right foot. And Johnson does not need asking twice. First time volley. Bang! 1-0 Forrest. We're locked up at one apiece with seven to go. Simon Cox has come on for Nottingham Forest. Jamie Mackey has made way. And Forrest have got to win this game again with Derbyshire. They might well have done. What a goal back, Derbyshire. What an absolute cracker! I hope he's not saying the goalkeeper he should have stopped this. Could have had two goalkeepers in there, they wouldn't have smelt it, let alone stop it. It's a howlitzer, that one. Bang, what a goal! McKenna, what's a lovely ball. Surridge is looking across the line for Brennan Johnson! He's done it again! Just as his father did 19 years ago! He scores in both playoff semi-finals against the Blades. And that is a huge, huge goal. There's his dad in the stands. History is repeating itself. And Nottingham Forest take a giant step towards Wembley. The big Dutch international gives himself a long run. Oh, and didn't he drive him well? And he went straight in. It seemed to go above Bill Park's head and in under the post. But more, more than one nothing to Forrest in the League Cup final as Girdles cuts through on his own. The pace and confidence to do it. Not a bad looking cross. Woodcock and a superb goal from Barrett. That was as good as Forrest are likely to get all season. And the boy Burkles was involved in it. And from Paisley, his comments, I wonder what they are. Here's where it started with Gary Burkles. This ball across the box. He did well to come away from that challenge. Recovers from Thompson. Looks up, tight to the line. Woodcock ahead of back. And a whacking shot from fullback Barrett. Call back. Well, what I can tell you was, it's a fluke. He surely doesn't mean this, Jack Colback. But look at the angle. He's looking for a cross. He cuts a cross in here, and it arrows into the far corner of the net. Beyond the helpless David Button. It's onside. Plenty of options here for Forrest. Clough screaming for the ball. He doesn't have to. Nottingham Forrest take the lead. And Teddy Sheringham is the man who gives it to them. They were queuing up for that cross when Sheringham cut inside. In 
England manager Graham Taylor. I'm sure enjoyed that goal. Started by Wern. Liverpool claimed that Gemmell was offside. Look at this run here by Sheringham. I think that Gemmell was onside when he played it through. Sheringham didn't worry about that, and Forrest had the lead.